Hey there, guys. All right, so we are gonna be uh, working out planning on the iPad mini five. Um, now I'm not gonna do like a full on plan with me. I just kind of want to go over um, the functionality of planning on this tablet. Um, I have the, uh, as I mentioned, iPad mini five. I have the first generation Apple pencil and yeah, let's get into it. So I'm using GoodNotes five. Um, I do have the um, iOS 13 version on here, which is pretty slick, and I will show you why in a second. Um, so let's start off here. I'm just gonna go ahead and salad. Okay. So my main daily um, tablet is my iPad Pro. Um, I have the iPad Pro 11, and it is my beast. That is what I call it. And this one is more of my I'm going out, I want to take something with me, or I'm testing stuff, uh, or my other iPad is being used for something else like video editing or something like that, then I'll pick this guy up and start working with it. That said, I, I love this tablet. I had the iPad mini 4, and before that I think I had the 2. I don't think I got the third generation, but this guy is super awesome. It is a wonderful machine and I definitely recommend it for digital planning. One thing you will notice with this one and my other, my iPad Pro, if you watch my videos, is I have a matte screen protector on here. That is for several reasons. Number one is it is very, very smooth to write on. It gives you a very paper-like experience. Whereas if you watched my iPad mini 4 playing with me video, I was having a really hard time with the stylus catching on the screen protector and it was totally throwing off my groove. So I definitely recommend a matte screen protector if you're going to use this with the stylus. Uh, another thing that I'm going to show you, this is a new feature in iOS 13 for GoodNotes that I think is phenomenal. Uh, before, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop open this kit here. This is my Davy kit from September. I would be doing this. So I would say, okay, well, let's put in a couple of these dates. I would copy them, go over here, paste, just like you normally would, adjust them, blah, blah, blah. But look at what you can do now. I can touch this, pull it over here. And then I can go directly over like this. Copy, paste. What? How cool is that? So on the mini, this is a little more difficult because you are working with limited space, but on the iPad Pro, awesome. This is new, this is brand new, in fact, this just came out this morning um, as of the time that I'm filming this video, which was a couple of weeks probably from when you're gonna see it. So you probably already know about this, but same thing, um, I have my hand on this side and it's not affecting what I can do over here at all, which is fantastic. So the palm rejection on the Mini 5 is right up there on par with how it is on my iPad Pro. Um, I don't have any issues drawing with it. I don't have any issues planning with it. It works great. Um, so I'm just gonna go back to main, main screen mode so that I can see. Again, this dual window feature is kind of better on the iPad because it does have more real estate on the iPad Pro because it has more real estate. So as far as actually sitting down and planning with this guy, I do typically tend to do so on a table surface, like either at my desk or I have a, um, like a reading desk for like a lap desk type of situation. Um, I usually will go with one of those if I'm trying to work on here, just because I have small hands and this thing is, while it's not huge, it's awkward in size in that it's big enough for me to hold with one hand, but it's not small enough to where I can do so and still function. This is probably gonna mess up the focus, but see, I can get my fingers around it and I can kind of do this number, but I'm not fully stable on it. So I end up dropping it in my lap or it kind of tips to the side. Um, so it is kind of an awkward size for that for me, just because my hands are not that big. So someone with larger hands might have better luck doing this. 
um, you know, just kind of freehanding it. Like it imports photos, it resizes the zoom, everything on this guy is amazing. So do I recommend the iPad mini five for digital planning? 100% yes. Um, I will say this though, and this is not just for this uh, tablet, but it's for all the tablets. Be mindful that digital planning does take up a lot of space. So if you're looking at the five to try to save some money, don't save the money by sacrificing storage space because I believe the smallest this guy comes in is 64 gig. And while that sounds like a lot, you will go through it fairly quickly. And once you start getting to where you're running out of space or running out of memory, GoodNotes can't handle that and it will start crashing. Um, I haven't heard in a while of anyone losing data. I have heard it happen before, but it's just not worth it. So if you're, if you're looking at this to save money over something like a pro model, don't scrimp on the storage space. So the real estate of the screen for me is fine. That's it guys. I fully recommend this guy for digital planning. I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys have any other questions, don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments. I'm sure I'm leaving stuff out because that is how I roll. All right. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.